This is an image taken in September of this year and showing the sea surface temperatures where you've got the yellows, reds and oranges indicating the above average sea surface temperatures. Now this is taken around the same time of the year, but in 1997, which by the way was the last strong El Nino that we saw. The whites here indicating the well above average sea surface temperatures. You put the two side by side, there is no comparison. This is 1997, the year we saw flooding in Northern California. This is this year an El Nino that will most likely not have much of an impact on our weather pattern, if at all. Now that you've seen the current state of El Nino, we'll now take a look at the forecast models and what their projections are for this upcoming winter. And for more on that, we go to Cheetah Johnson. Thanks, Mike. For the first half of our winter, October, November, and December, the Pacific Northwest is expected to see below average rainfall indicated by the brown on this map. However, as I advance this to January, February, and March, a typical El Nino pattern sets up where the Pacific Northwest is going to see below average rainfall, Central and Southern California going to see above average rainfall. So that clearly puts Northern California in that transition zone. So essentially at this point, it could go either way for the second half of the winter. Mike. Now that we've seen the current state of El Nino and the Climate Prediction Center's outlook for this winter, we need to make sense of it all. The main question we've been getting the last few months is will this year's El Nino take us out of this drought? Clear and simple, my opinion, the answer is no. This year's El Nino will strengthen to moderate at best. As we look at the past, a weak to moderate El Nino has not done much for us in the rain department. Now with El Nino out of the equation, Mother Nature is all alone. Now, to be honest, I've never been a big fan of forecasting months in advance. Two weeks is bad enough. That being said, I think we'll still be around or just below average for the first half of the winter, with a better chance of catching up in January, February, and March. Bottom line, we'll just have to wait and see.